Blender is crazy like. Welcome to Optical Graphics, without killing any time, let's learn this animation concept. To animate all the tiles individually is out of question, so we will take the smart decision using geometry nodes. Wait, we will be using some simple nodes. So select the cube, go to geometry node, right click, close area, so we get more space. Create geometry nodes, add a mesh line and connect to output. Put Z value to 0 and X value to 1. Now add an instance on points. At the instance add a cube. You can adjust the size if they are too big or small. To create the tiles reduce the Z value. Later we will rotate them from here. Let's increase the Y axis. We will increase the count also. Add a cube to the viewport. Move it up. It will rotate the tiles. Let's rename this. By selecting it hit the pin button, so this geometry node will be pinned always. Now select the cube and drag it into the node. Now add a geometry proximity node. And connect to the target. Check the relative option. It will calculate the distance. And here add a combine XYZ node so we can rotate on x-axis only. Add distance to x-axis. Now if we move it, tiles start rotating. But rotating too much, we need to reduce somehow. We can multiply the effect with a small number less than 1 to reduce the effect. So add a math node, change to multiply, reduce the number to 0 0.1. Now it's working well. We can even manipulate the effect further. We can add a map range and tweak these values and select how far it will affect or how much. There is no specific range though, you have to test and find the right values for your needs. Let's remove it, we can also add a color ramp and customize it. I think it looks good. Increase the counts. Now let's do something for the cubes. Uncheck the pin, select the cube and create a new geometry node. Add mesh to volume. Now add distribute points in volume. You can change the density now add instance on points and an icosphere as instance. Reduce the radius and increase the subdivision. Now add a join geometry and reconnect the cube also. Move these down. Make the cube bigger. Add a transform geometry to the cube and increase the scale. Go to the wireframe mode. The balls are still inside. Disconnect this for now to see the balls. Add a shade set smooth node. Now connect as before. Let's tweak it a little. Now the next step is set materials to objects. Add set material nodes to both cube and balls. For the cube we will create a glass material so that we can see the balls inside and the balls will be a mission. And this was just the concept of this animation. You can replace the cube and put any objects. The video was getting longer for people to concentrate. Next I have added some random movements and scaling to the balls, and a border to the cube. See you in the next video.